Eight years after he was buried in a huge public ceremony, the remains of Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat were quietly exhumed today under the cover of darkness. Ever since his death, rumors have swirled that Arafat was poisoned, assassinated, many Palestinians believe, by the Israelis. Well, now a team of international experts is testing samples from his body, an effort by his wife to prove once and for all what killed the Palestinian leader. Paul Johnson reports from Ramallah. By dawn this morning, they'd already taken new samples from the body of former Palestinian leader Yasser Arafat. From behind these blue tarps, an international team of forensics experts was brought in after a stunning announcement from a Swiss lab that a radioactive substance had been found on some of the clothes Arafat wore before he died. There is a not normal, not normal quantity of polonium. Polonium-210, the element that someone used to kill former KGB agent Alexander Litvinenko in 2006. When Arafat died in 2004, doctors suspected a stroke, but no autopsy was done. And suspicions have now been stoked by the Swiss findings. Many Palestinians have no problem whatsoever believing that Arafat may have actually been assassinated. Part of the reason for that is Israel's long-standing policy of carrying out targeted assassinations of people they believe are terrorists. One early casualty in last week's war in Gaza was a top Hamas leader targeted by Israel. And its spy service, Mossad, has been suspected in numerous sensational killings. A 2010 murder in a Dubai hotel room and the 1990 murder of Canadian Gerald Bull, an engineer who'd been working for Iraq. As the Palestinians, we believe the story. I think Israel uh, poisoned him. But Israel flatly denies that. And as officials resealed Arafat's tomb today, there is also the sense that the truth about his death may never be known. Paul Johnson, Global News, Ramallah.